Did you know that there are six structures in a neuron? The first two being dendrite and axon. Dendrite are short branches of the body cell. It receives nerve impulses from other neurons or the external environment. It also sends them to the body cell. Meanwhile, axon is an elongated branch of the body cell and it carries the impulse out of the cell body to other neurons and effectors. Actually, there is something that causes the axon, but I don't really know what it is. Can someone explain? I know it is known as the myelin sheath. The myelin sheath is an insulating membrane that cuts the axon. There are some examples for the function of myelin sheath such as it protects the neurons from injury and also provides nutrients to the axon. Myelin sheath also functions as an insulator for electrical impulses. There is also a cell body consists of a nucleus and many cytoplasmic projections called dendrites. The cell body integrates signals and it will coordinate metabolic activities. Hmm, what happens to those parts who don't have myelin sheath? Hey, I got your back. In the neuron, some parts are not covered by the myelin sheath. These are what we call node of runway. They help in speeding up the flow of electrical signals by allowing the signals to jump from one node to another. Pretty shocking, am I right? There's something more shocking which is a synaptic knob. Synaptic knob are located on a neuron's axon. It sends signals to muscle cells, gland cells, or other neurons than drug. It releases chemical substances which is called neurotransmitter. Now that we have talked about the structure, let's move on to the types of neurons. For the motor neuron, motor neuron is one of the main neurons in the nervous system. It receives nerve impulse from relay neuron and sends nerve impulse to the effectors such as muscles. Let's look at its structure. It has dendrite, cell body, myelin shave, ASEN, and the node of Ranville. Motor neuron is located at the ventral root in the spinal nerve. It has a long axon, and the cell body is located at the end of the axon. Speaking of relay neuron, can anybody tell me what is relay neuron? Me! Relay neuron is a nerve fibers located in the center of the nervous system exists with a various shapes. It connects the sensory neuron to the motor neuron. So, what can relay neuron do? Relay neuron can receive and send nerve impulse from the sensory neuron to the motor neuron. Alright, let's move to the next neuron. The last neuron is sensory neuron. Sensory neuron is present in the dorsal root of a spinal nerve. It carries nerve impulses from the sensory organ receptors to the central nervous system. The cell body is found in the dorsal root ganglion. Then, dendrites receive nerve impulses from receptors and send them to the cell body. The nerve impulses are transferred from the cell body through axon to the next neuron. Have you ever wondered how nerve impulses transmitted through a synapse? Impulses are transmitted chemically across synapses. The chemical substances involve neurotransmitters that are kept in synaptic vesicles that are found at the end of the synaptic loop. Examples of neurotransmitters include acetylcholine and noradrenaline. At first, synaptic vesicles are stimulated to release neurotransmitters into the synapse when electrical impulses reach the synaptic loop. Second, the neurotransmitters will diffuse through the synapse and combine to a specific receptor protein, which is a receptor on the dendrite of the receiving neuron. Third, the binding of the neurotransmitter and the receptor stimulates the initiation of the next impulse so that impulse can be transmitted through the neuron. On the other hand, synaptic nodes also contain numerous mitochondria to generate the energy required for transmission of nerve impulses. That is all about neurons. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you are interested to know about voluntary, involuntary, and reflex actions, please watch part 3.